Okay, so we've had a couple uh, minutes to look at it. And uh, <clears throat> first thing I noticed is over here, this has uh, got a missing screw. So this is supposed to be screwed in over here. And it looks like it just screws into the plastic. And then up here, um, there's another screw missing there. And that one looks like it's got a little bolt or a brass insert or something in it. We'll have to take a look at that. And uh, this moves good back and forth. But you can see it's not sticking out as far as it should. And uh, I believe uh, this is probably broken here, this little piece. There's something broken there. So I'll have to take a look at that and see if there's anything I can do. I keep finding pieces of this uh, rubber grommet. And I looked on, been looking at the parts list and stuff. And there's three of these grommets that hold the uh, motor. So clearly that's, you know, I'll write it out. So I'll have to get some of that. There's uh, other replacement parts that I might need. And I think this is maybe okay. I, I, there might have been something glued onto it around the outside because um, it's kind of got the same kind of glue there. But maybe somebody, maybe there was a sticker there. I'm not really sure what this was supposed to look like. Um, there's an interesting scratch mark there, which was probably this thing. You know, so I'm sure that needle's no good, but you can buy a new needle for it. So this moves like that. It seems to be intact. I don't know if there was extra stuff there or not, but that holds that down uh, pretty good. So um, I'm not sure if that's the way it was supposed to be or, or not. Uh, other than that, it looks like it's in fairly good shape. There's some paint missing down here, a little chip there, uh, but we'll clean this up a little bit later. Uh, so next step, I think, will be to t start taking it apart. Um, I don't know if I showed the cord. The cord is falling apart as well. Uh, this is why it was untested. The person who had it didn't want to plug it in. I think it was a wise move. <laughs> so yeah, obviously that needs replaced. So I think the next step will be to start taking it apart. And I'm going to take this apart here at the top and this uh, apart. And, and that'll allow me to remove the lid. And it'll make the whole thing easier to work on. And then I'll look at what needs to be done with those parts first. My surprise it doesn't appear to be broken I thought sure that'd be a piece of broken plastic in there but uh, it appears to be let's see if I can get some light on the situation what it appears to be so there's a little um, pin there come loose. I think it just needs to be pushed in through the other side. Let's see if you can, uh, this guy right there, a little pin there. This one. It's like a little axle or whatever. A little, there it goes. Yeah, look at that. See? That goes through to there. And then... The whole thing works and it holds it nice and level that's all that's wrong <laughs> so i just need to bend that a little bit on each end like it was and keep it from coming out if i can do that without breaking it <laughs> how about that that's all it took this looks surprisingly good i think all of this is uh, yeah. Obviously, this motor is completely loose in here because the motor mounts are all rotted out. But I expected that. Yeah, it looks like the been soldered on a couple times, but uh, probably was fixed once or twice. The mechanism looks okay. I mean, it's not rusty or problematic. There's a rubber tire on this that's surprisingly okay I think that rubber tire might even be okay that's that would be very surprising um, yeah yuck <laughs> that's got to go this motor 
definitely need some service. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what all's going on with this motor. Might need some service besides uh, just the motor mount. Looking in here, very dirty. Um, got something interesting here. Hmm. Looks like some kind of cardboard mount on the speaker or something. It seems to be coming apart. The tubes look okay. I mean, you know, they look okay. The, um, this transformer probably needs replaced. <laughs> Looks pretty bad. But, you know, I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. What it looks like. But probably could do a new transformer. Probably wouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, the speaker itself looks okay. So far, I mean, well, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look a little closer at that speaker when I get it out. So we have now all the electronics free. Looks like a repair. Ooh, don't bend it. Down to the speaker here, it's very uh, like waxy. Um, we have well, it almost looks like fungus growing on some of the parts. <laughs> I don't know what that is, or some kind of salt or something that deposited on there. Yeah, we got a lot of capacitors that clearly need replaced. Some really old resistors that need replaced. Old crumbling wires need replaced. We've practically got to rebuild the whole amplifier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not much about this amplifier that we can say. The tube sockets and tubes hopefully are good, but just about everything else got to go. I don't know how to get it off. <sighs> I can't get this off. Maybe. I Came out. Yay! Right. Looks like the original speaker grill. Literally a piece of cardboard <laughs> with some cloth on it spray painted black. There ain't nothing else to that. Isn't that something? <laughs> well, there's a lot of rubber on this piece here, I don't think. And it's surprisingly not disintegrated, but it doesn't seem to be making good contact with this wheel. Well, it might work. If I spin that, it does turn. Sort of. Uh, yeah, see there's a spot there where it doesn't turn. I can see a worn spot there. Yeah, yeah we might have a little issue there to deal with. It'll be a lot of work. <laughs> 